I got this mug and I was 10 at Ocean Isle Beach. So today we're going to be talking about the Canon RF 100mm f2.8 ISL lens with SA control. So I got this lens a little less than a month ago, December 23rd, and now we're January 14th, so it's about 20-21 days. And I'm going to talk about my experience with this lens over the past almost a month. Uh, I've done a lot of photos, I've done a lot of videos, and we're going to talk about the pros and cons to help you decide if you want to invest the money into this lens. So the first thing, it's a Canon lens, it's an RF lens, and it's L caliber. It's extremely sharp. It does not disappoint in the sharpness. The images are, are crystal clear, even from a distance. The colors are really nice too. Uh, I haven't had a Canon lens that's an L that has bad colors. So, I mean, kind of expected there. So in terms of image quality, it's, it's excellent. Just, just excellent. So image quality, good. I approve. Next is the autofocus. So in terms of photo, the autofocus is really good, really snappy. If it's in servo, it tracks your eye perfectly, no issues in terms of photo. The only thing is when you go to macro, sometimes when you're really close to your subject, servo autofocus kind of just jumps around everywhere. It has, has trouble understanding what you want to focus. Usually when you're doing macro, you're either in one shot or manual focus anyway. So it's not that big of an issue for the servo autofocus to kind of be wonky. Uh, and one shot autofocus in macro, no problems. It's uh, if you have enough light, it's pretty good. It kind of has trouble when it's a little darker, underexposed, uh, but then again, it's still pretty good. In terms of manual focus, it's really good. And I especially like the rubber band because there's resistance, but it also turns smoothly. So you don't, I wouldn't want it to be like really quick because then I wouldn't be able to completely precisely pinpoint the manual focus point, you know? So I think the, the band is perfect, especially with the Canon EOS R5 with the focus peaking and the focus guides, it's, it's quite easy. The thing is now in terms of video, this thing sucks sucks in video autofocus. I don't know why, but this lens breathes so much, so much. I'll play a clip right now. So with all that focus breathing, this might not be the lens for you if you want to do a lot of video shooting with it. Although when it's in focus, the image quality is really nice, but still it's kind of counterproductive because of how long it takes you to actually focus something. You're, you're making people restart. Like for example, Ryan, I had to make him walk three or three times I think the fourth time was good because it kept on it kept on them and it didn't focus breathe too much so it slows down your shooting pace a lot in terms of video autofocus photo good autofocus video bad. next thing is the build quality you can just tell that the build quality is not as excellent as the other Canon L lenses such as my 15 to 35 the 50 millimeter or the 70 to 200 f4 but at the same time, I kind of understand why, because my 50 millimeter is like th almost three pounds on its own. And this is like 1.1 pounds, I think. And when you want to focus something so close, the lighter your equipment is, the easier it's going to be to do macro photography. So in terms of that, I understand, but it still feels a little cheaper uh, for an L lens. And the other thing is the control ring. This was actually the most disappointing thing for this lens because I really like the control ring. I use it a lot and the sound is just different. It feels different. It doesn't feel as, as high quality <laughs> as the other lenses that I have. So that disappointed me a bit, although it's not that big a deal really. So build quality overall, we'll give it halfway. Actually for the price, it's fine. Cause I don't really want to pay another three grand for this. So like I said before, the colors are really good. Uh, so with the colors being good, the image quality being excellent and the amount of bokeh that you get and separation from the background, this lens like immediately has character. So when a lens has character, that's real. That's a really good sign because you can tell if a picture is shot on a hundred millimeter macro or a 50 or a wide angle or and so on. That's what you're looking for. You're looking for the lens to have its own personality and I think this lens really shines there. So I give it a nice thumbs up for that. Good job, Canon. The image stabilization nowadays, it's it's not crucial. It helps 
But when you have an R5 and this lens, it's so stable. I can go down to one over 20th of a second and have a sharp image. So to kind of close off, there's been a little bit of challenges using this lens. First, it's my first time actually doing macro photography. So there's still a lot to learn with your distances and to focus properly. And you have to be really patient sometimes. And that's something I'm developing. Well, I'm pretty patient, but I'm still, still have some work to do. My personal opinion on this lens is when I bought it, I was on the fence. I was like, oh, this is kind of an impulse purchase. Maybe I shouldn't have bought this, but I like it a lot. And I'm really happy I bought it because it makes me more motivated to do product photography because I can get closer to my subject. It's just a cool experience to, to get that close to it. Uh, whereas usually I use my 50 millimeter 1.2. And that does not have a close focus in the distance. So I'm always a little further from, from the objects. It does the job, but it's a little different. Now becoming, getting close, getting those details really makes a big difference in the experience of shooting. Okay, so enough talking. Now I'm gonna roll a bunch of pics that I've taken over the past three weeks. So that's it for me. Thank you for watching. Let me know, did this help you either purchase or make a decision about this lens? And I'll see you again soon. And we'll reconvene in a year to see a one year review. Peace. I forgot to thank my brother for letting me use his area, although I didn't ask permission. I just did it because my, my stuff is being used right now and I can't access it, unfortunately. So I use his little area. If you're interested in looking at his channel, because he also is starting to do YouTube with his little R10. But, so, uh, he's into keyboards, so he kind of makes his own keyboards. He does a bunch of PC stuff. So if you're interested in, in this kind of stuff, other than cameras, but more like peripherals and gear, check him out right here. This still sounds cool. I just love the clicks.